Hey, Coach Katie here, and I am so proud of you. You've made it two weeks, and I know that it maybe feels really exciting right now. Week two is usually the easiest for people. We made it through week one. Headaches are gone. We feel really good. We feel like this is actually something that I feel like in the first time in forever that I could actually stick with for life because it's all about building a healthy lifestyle and building those habits versus the quick fixes that you don't feel like you can stick with or that diet that you have to do again. This is not something you ever have to do again. You're just building lifestyle habits. So I'm so proud of you. Week two is awesome. You're fist bumping yourself. You're asking friends to come along this journey with you because you believe in something. I will tell you, week three tends to be the toughest for people. So stay tuned for next week just because somebody's going to bring cookies into the office and you're going to say, I haven't had a cookie for two weeks. I really would love one or a donut. And you feel like I have to stick with the plan. I have to, I have to do it. It's all or nothing, right? It is not all or nothing. It's impossible to do anything all or nothing. It's impossible to never eat a cheeseburger again or pizza or French fries or an ice cream cone with your kids or a donut that someone brings into the workplace. If someone brings a donut in, they bring some cookies, have one. Because all you're going to do otherwise is think about where are all the donuts or the cookies in your house for 24 seven, that's all you're going to think about until you cave and you just binge eat because you can't take it anymore. Have the donut and just move on. It's not going to do any harm to you. Do you know it actually takes 3,500 extra calories on top of your maintenance calories every day in order to gain one pound of fat? This is what happens is people either eat at a surplus constantly. And those 3,500 calories over the course of a week in surplus is what makes us gain weight or they eat at such a restrictive deficit of a thousand calories. And that also makes us gain fat because our body goes into overdrive, it goes into hibernation, and it starts storing fat as fat instead of burning it. So whether you're someone that's been eating in a surplus and you're like, oh yeah, I bet I have been eating 3,500 extra calories every week, that's why I gained the weight, like I did, or you're someone who's been eating in such a restrictive diet for so long that your body has basically shut down on you. It's so stressed out. You're running it hours on end at the gym or doing the elliptical for hours or doing all these plyometric and HIIT workouts trying to burn fat. Also not feeding enough and your body shuts down and it says, I can't handle any more of this. I'm so stressed out. The last thing that I'm going to try to do in your favor is lose weight. So it starts to store fat instead. And you wonder, why have I hit a plateau? Why can't I lose this last 10 pounds? Why won't the scale budge? It's because your body is in hibernation, storing fat in case you never feed it again and saying, I'm too stressed out to do anything else in your favor right now. So whether or not you're on that end or this end or somewhere in the middle, have the donut because you cannot live in an all or nothing lifestyle. And the math checks out. You're not eating 3,500 calories of donuts in one day. I'll tell you that is, thir- I think it's 13 and a half pieces of pizza to get, thir- to get 3,500 calories in one day. So unless you eat 13 and a half pieces of pizza on top of your maintenance calories, which is like 2,200 calories, give or take, 2,200 calories plus another 3,500 calories. It's next to impossible to do that in one day. So if tomorrow you wake up on the scale one pound heavier than you were today because you had a donut, it's not the donut's fault. It is just the fact that weight loss isn't linear. So it's going to fluctuate. That's why we take our weight every single day. For seven days, you're going to track your weight and you're going to take the average of it. And that donut just happens to be somewhere in there. Have the donut. Even if it's this week. Week two is awesome. Someone brings a donut into the workplace. Have it. And then move on. You just go back to what was working before the donut showed up. And the donut didn't not work. It was great, right? We cannot live in an all or nothing lifestyle. I promise you, you were never, you're not going to be on an island by yourself for the rest of your life. No kids, no chores, no Uber driving, drive, driving your kids around, no laundry, no, uh, you're a personal chef. You're not going to have any of that just go away forever where you can sit on a private island and just eat the cleanest foods possible for the rest of your life. That's not possible. We have to learn to do this in a world where there are ups and downs, where you are pulled in a million different directions and where you can figure out where do I show up in here and how do I do it sustainably? That's where we're at right now. Sustainable lifestyle means have the donut or the cookie if it shows up at work next week. All right. Uh, Stay tuned for your mindset training next week. I can't wait to see where you go with that. And if you're watching these videos and you're like, 
this is really great, but I wish that I had a little bit more of Katie or a coach in my life. I wish that I had them in my ear. Basically, I could ring a doorbell and they'd be there telling me how to get through these mindset struggles that I'm having or really just like fine tuning some things for me or holding me accountable more than I'm getting right now. Wherever you're at, either you're in VIP right now in a level that you feel like you just need a little bit more or you're in the six week, like taking it for a test drive and you feel like, okay, this test drive, what happens in that six weeks is you have to have three things going for you. You have to have a no like, and trust factor. You have to know who I am in order to start something. And you did that. You have to like me in order to start it. And I think you did that, but you have to start to trust me in order to take it one step further and really challenge yourself and get the accountability and the help and support that you need. And that trust factor usually comes around this time, week two, week three, where you're like, okay, this girl gets me. She's done it before. She's lost the 70 pounds. She did it because she wasn't on a private island for 14 months doing it. She did it because she did it in the real world. She didn't live an all or nothing lifestyle. I believe in what you're saying. I trust it. And if you feel like this is the point where I just need to take this one step forward, you can click the link and go ahead and book a phone call or just go ahead and sign up right then and there and get this king thing kick started. Uh, if you work with me in the VIP program, you get phone calls with me specifically, one on one uh, with me specifically gets me on Voxer. Uh, that's just an app on the phone where you walkie talkie me. I don't know if anybody has Marco Polo, but you can Voxer me. You just pick it up and you send me a voice chat and it's like Marco Polo where there's a video, but you just voice chat me. And then I voice chat you back. It's like an ongoing phone call to just solve your everyday concerns, frustrations, support, encouragement, all of that. Uh, or a mid-level where um, you still get to chat with me and you still get one-on-one -on -one phone calls with me. And they're all, it's all on the webpage. If you just go ahead and click that, take a look at it, see if you feel like you need to go any further with this. And again, if you have a friend that you want to bring along with you, have them join. And I can't wait to see where you take this next. We'll see you next week.